So, hello everybody. Uh, we're going to go over the process of putting multiple lines on the same graph. This is an exercise we did for our recent lab. And you can see over here, I've reproduced the data that you probably have in your lab notebooks. Um, I've completely made up these numbers, so you have numbers that are probably different in both magnitude and trend. So, please keep that in mind as we move forward. Now, the time here, uh, these are things that move up in increments of half a minute, so 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and so on. And then I've labeled all my columns, time, and then the temperature of water, ethanol, hexane, and acetone. The process of making a graph is really very straightforward. What we'll do is we'll highlight this entire area. We'll come over here to Insert, and then we'll go over to Charts. And the kind of chart that we're looking for is this scatter plot with connected lines, smooth lines, meaning uh, smooth transitions from point to point. And when I click on that, there's our chart. And it's got all four um, plots in one area. And there's even a nice little um, <clears throat> legend down here that shows us what we're looking for. So water, ethanol, hexane, acetone. So that's all there. Great. And it's pretty clear. To make it a really good chart, though, what we'll do is we'll put in a chart title like evaporation versus time. Always good to label your chart, let people know what they're looking at. And then another thing we can do is click on this plus sign over here, and we can add some elements like the axis titles. And so the axis titles uh, right here now appear, and we can label them with what we were interested in. Uh, this one down here is time, and that's measured in minutes. And then, oops, capitalized time. And then over here on this one, where it sort of prints on the side, oops, bring it back. Uh, this one is temperature, and that is in degrees Celsius. Okay. Now at this point, everything is fine. There's really not much more that we have to do. Kind of make it a little bit bigger if we want uh, things to be seen a little easier. And you can copy and paste this directly into a Word document. So what you're responsible for is this table and this plot. I hope that makes things easier. Thanks a lot. I'll look forward to getting your reports.